Cracker, thanks for coming back and watching the videos. Did you know that the intestines, particularly the small intestine, will probably have more regeneration capacity than just about any other part of your body? It's amazing. How do the intestines repair themselves? Well, every five, six or seven days, the whole lining of the gut basically is replaced. And when you think about it, it makes sense because we eat a lot of food and we drink a lot of you know beverages and they all affect the lining of the gut, which is just a single cell layer thick. If we look at the small intestine in particular, there are lots of crypts, okay? And there are lots of tiny little villi as well, like little hills and valleys. There are literally millions of these things right throughout the small bowel. But what they found at Harvard University a few years ago was amazing because they couldn't understand the regenerative properties of the small bowel in particular, or the whole GI tract, so to speak. But what they discovered at the right down there at the base of these crypts, they found stem cells, okay? So stem cells are quite interesting. <clears throat> we've got two types. We've got the embryonic ones, which can really uh, differentiate into many different types of cells. And we've got the adult stem cells, which have got more limited powers, you know, really of what they can do. But it's these adult stem cells that can convert to other stem cells or convert into intestinal cells. And that's what they've discovered. That's the, uh, the beauty of the gut is this constant reproduction of these cells and the regeneration of that lining, the epithelial lining. And this is the lining that you really want to keep intact. It's a little bit like when you drive your motor car or motorbike or whatever you drive, you want to keep the rubber and especially the tread on the tire intact, don't you? Imagine if you drove your car full of people with ball tires at 60 mile an hour in the pouring rain and then a rabbit hops out in front of you or something or whatever, you know? What would happen? bang because you've got no ability to really slow down or to maneuver that car properly because where the rubber meets the road it's not really looking good now the intestines are same you want to keep that epithelial layer healthy and intact you want to keep a lot of bacteria there that need to be there to allow that process to work and that's where the proper diet comes in because it will really help to rebuild and rejuvenate that gut Allowing a, lot of, um, allowing a lot of fermented and cultured foods and high fiber foods into the diet will, will really enhance that process of cells going out of the body, the dead cells, the sloughing off process, and the whole cleansing. And needless to say, when you eat poor food, you're not contributing towards a healthy regeneration of the, of the epithelial lining. But there you have it, it's the stem cells. And uh, that was an interesting discovery a couple of years ago. So, and now of course they're going to dig a lot deeper and find out you know, more about these stem cells and their potential, which will be great for people with inflammatory bowel disease in particular. Hey, thanks for tuning in, I always appreciate it.